Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Avedon. Last episode, we went into Goldcrag, spoke with all the people here, and actually took care of a couple quests. Uh, dealt with some spiders in the cellar over here, and dealt with, uh, dealt with some dire wolves out in the Kaval lands out here. Now, well, before we go into the wretch lands, we need to go speak with Zethron, I think. Figure out what's going on there. Plus, I think there's probably going to be a quest or two out here that we need to deal with. Or at least that we can gain. So let's go do just that. First things first, find and speak with everyone out here. Where is that guy? There's someone around here. Where is he? There he is, Keeper Elhan. Is there anything else you need killed? He inspects you and thinks about it. I would not have Avedon thinking I delivered one of their hands to an untimely death. Please return when you have more experience. Seriously? Come on. Okay, fine. Oh, there you are. Yep. Uh, Watcher Harisa, I'm ready to do more work for you. Watcher Harisa seems disturbed. I am glad because once again I need you to check on one of my scouting parties. I sent them to the Jareth Deeps. Some miners said that they saw ogres there, so I sent them to investigate. That was some days ago. I haven't heard from them since. Should you go there, please watch for them and aid them if they need it. You lose a lot of scouting parties? No, actually, I have lost no scouting parties, ever. That is because I send help for them when they need it. You don't have soldiers of your own to send. No, we have too much to do and far too few warriors. We are fighters of the Kava. We will do whatever we need to do to prevail. Alright, I guess that's probably where we're going to be going. Uh, Keeper Thara, does the dragon require any more help? Not yet, but I'm sure he appreciates your concern. Yes, we'll see. First things first. Nathalie stops for a moment. She stares at the dragon, a faint smile on her face. Look at it. Imagine what it must be like in battle. What weaknesses do you think it has? Sevelyn smiles knowingly. I know, you want to fight it. Calm yourself, it is an ally. Nathalie shrugs. Read your history. A creature like that can never be our ally. Zethron hunted humans for game in the Black Age. We grew weak and it stalked us. Useful, perhaps, but no ally. She starts walking again. Alright. You approach the dragon once again. It is in its standard mood of barely controlled anger. You can see why. There has been a fight here recently. The bloodstains have not yet been cleaned. Zethron waves you forward. Alright, Zethron. Come, let us speak. I have called for you, I... WHAT?! When you stand before Zethron, he opens his mouth to speak. Then he is interrupted. There is the sound of crumbling stone to the northwest. A wall crumbles. Then you hear loud, incoherent roars. A band of ogres charges through. Zethron roars. AGAIN! I am to be insulted again! Come, worms! You know you have no chance to defeat me! The ogres attack. Alright. Hello, ogres. Okay. How about a nice storm? That, that, that'll be nice. Weaken them a little. Ogre Overseer. Pretty big. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Nice cleave. Ha, huh, you missed. There goes that one. Now for this Overseer. And that should finish it off. Excellent. Zethron quivers with fury. For a moment you think that he and his bloodlust will attack you. Instead he breathes a mighty gout of flame toward the ceiling. You see this! You see how thoroughly the pact has failed me! Come and speak with me, human. You see why I have called you to me. This must be stopped. Okay, very well then. Zethron is still curled up on his spire. Okay, um, you have sent for me once again. I assume it involves the ogres. 
Zethron is absolutely livid. You have just seen the second time they have attacked me! Twice in my own lair! How did they get in? There are many tunnels under my lair. The wretches dug more and the ogres finished them. The ogres burrowed through soft veins of lava rock into my lair. I have collapsed their tunnels, but I am sure there are more. Wretches are like rats. They must be destroyed at the source! Why did they attack? For a moment, Zethron actually seems confused. To slay me? To steal my treasure? I don't know. Ogres are pathetic creatures. They must have known that they had no chance of avoiding or damaging me. All they achieved before I slew them was making me more angry. What should I do? You will go to the Jareth Deeps. You will find the ogres who did not come to attack me. You will kill them. All of them. Only this will calm my rage. How do you know where they are? As soon as I knew that ogres were in these lands, I took to the sky. Ogres are large and clumsy. They were easy to spot once I was in the right place. Still, it took a th three full days to find them. The ogres are in the Jareth Deep, so long days march south of here. Though if they are wise, they will be hiding from my wrath. The Jareth Deeps are now marked on your world map. And you want them all dead. All of them, but especially their leader. No lesser punishment will do for the invasion of my lair. Very well. We'll do what we can to... <sighs> commit genocide. Okay, this must be where they were. Doesn't look like there's anything... Well, there's a body back here. Maybe that's not where they were. I don't know where they came from. I don't know. Well, let's take another look in their library. In the library over here. See if there's anything interesting. I may try walking out with that book just to see what happens, in all honesty. Okay, let's see. Anything on this book? Okay, we already have that. Let's see if we can find this thing that they wanted us to find. Uh, close the box. That's not it. This must be it. This bo thick book is a catalog of the holdings of the library, written in a cramped, illegible script and organized in the least convenient way possible. You look through the catalog for anything related to the original Seeker Arzani was hunting for. Eventually, when you are about to give up, you find something. The library has a book called The Focus of the Hulklandian Spellcrafter. Interesting. The book is listed as being on one of the northern bookshelves, but it is not clear which one. You look through the shelves, but you don't find Seeker Arzani's book. You look through the shelves and find, shoved behind a pile of scrolls, the focus of the Hulklandian spellcrafter. You sit down with it. The pages are stained and hard to read, but you don't have to read it for long. Early on, you find the following passage. Though the sixth ritual of inner vision is lost, if indeed it ever existed, the first five rituals are an invaluable tool and worthy of study. This book describes them in extreme detail so that... and so on. You replace the book. You doubt that Arzani will find what she seeks here, and she won't welcome the news. Alright, um, I'm going to see what happens if we take this book. Let me save first. Stupid idea, stupid idea. Bracing yourself for traps, you gingerly pick up the book and put it into your pack. Nothing happens. Phew, you close the box. Well, let's see if anything happens when you step out here. When you step over these runes, you feel slightly dizzy. When you, re when you recover, you realize that your pack feels lighter. You look inside, and sure enough, Ab Ahmed's Libram is gone. This library has elaborate magical anti-theft measures. It's still in here, isn't it? Yep, it's still in there. Okay, can we maybe talk to him about this now? Somehow? Maybe we'll be able to get the book? Uh... Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything we can get from here. Okay, then. So nothing happened. It just put the book back where it was. I suppose we can go tell her that we can't get it, for that reason. Unless we found some other way to get out of there, but I'm not gonna look for that. Alright. Keeper Thara, does the dragon require any more help? No. And he probably doesn't have anything to say. Okay. I will go and speak with Keeper, with, uh, what's her name? 
Angevine and tell... I suppose maybe I can tell her this? If I can tell her it, I'll cut it back in. If I can't, I'm just going to run back and turn in this other quest. I'll be back. Turned out we couldn't actually tell her anything. So, back to Seeker Arzani. I searched the dragon's library and the ritual is not there. Seeker Arzani does not take the news well. There is a long period of despondency and drinking. Ruined. I promised. I boasted. How could I have been so foolish? What will happen to my honor? But there is another... Another dragon. I will seek it. It, it may know. And you, a reward. I will give you a reward. She fetches several jewels and a pendant from the hoard she was taking to Zethron. For your help. Now I will try again. There is still hope. Where will you go now? I have heard that there is a new dragon out there in the wilds, to the south. It only just arrived. I will see it. Perhaps if you visit it we will meet again. When I am sober I will leave this place. Now excuse me, I must prepare. She waves you away, though she has not yet risen from her table. So we got... Pendant of Nimbleness, plus two to Dexterity. That is impressive. I'm going to hold on to it. I feel like it could be useful for someone, but I'm not going to uh, use it right now. Not on anyone not right now. Okay. So, um... Hmm. We still have a little bit of time. I suppose you can start with a small peek in the next area, or we could... I mean... Hold on, let me check something. Yeah, I got like 15 minutes. I think we can move on to exploring the new area. Let me just save first. Alright, let's take a quick peek in the new area we got. Jareth Deeps. At the very least, there's also some ore we need to find out here, somewhere. Alright. After a long hike, you arrive at the Jareth Deeps. This is a network of narrow, dry valleys carved out of the eastern edge of a jagged mountain chain. You are now miles into the far lands, deep in the wretched lands. Any ogres who come here risk being hunted down and destroyed. Larger creatures settling in lands set aside for the wretches is not good for the pact. There were once several mines in these valleys, and the piles of rubble and rusted cart tracks are still visible. You can understand why the ogres would come here. There must be many miles of intact tunnels under your feet. And this is definitely the right area. The ogres have made no effort to disguise their presence. The tracks of their massive feet are everywhere, along with gnawed bones and piles of fresh garbage. The creatures who have been angering Zethron are somewhere ahead. Okay, then. And that's probably... Yeah, that's just a southern exit, pretty much. <coughs> Even though you are far from civilization, in a land infested with ogres, it somehow doesn't surprise you that the first person you meet is the Wayfarer. He emerges from the cliff shadow, still in his black shadow walker garb. The heat seems to barely phase him. He waves to you as he approaches. I am glad you finally arrived. I do not have much longer to wait. I need to speak with you. An excellent opportunity awaits you. Weren't you in Camaria? He nods. Servants of Avedon are able to travel very quickly. So can those who work with and support the servants of Avedon. Like me. How did you find me here? It is our business to find out where the hands of Avedon are at all times. Otherwise, how can we hire them? As for how we find out, I would rather not say. But don't worry. I'm interested, tentatively. Of course. Wealth is the reward for being a hand, after all. That is why I asked you to find information about Commander Rioza when you went to Zethron's lair. I wanted to tell you something about that. Yes? I thank you for the information. It was very helpful. We were able to use it to learn unfortunate things about Commander Riozo. His harsh exterior conceals some ugly truths. What have you learned about Riozo? I am pleased that you are interested. Commander Riozo is not a loyal servant of Avedon. He is a turncoat trying to hire Zethron away from the Pact. Of course, the hand that found proof of such a thing would earn great prestige in the eyes of Redbeard. I learned that Riozo was only trying to get Zethron to watch the Tauan Empire. That was only the first step. Once Zethron was north, the Fading Empire could contact him and try to break his ties with the Pact. Do not be fooled, it is a complicated game. How did you learn this? I deal with many people for information. And what do you want from me? Commander Riozo is still in the Dragon's Lair, but he will not be for long. 
I believe that he may have letters in there, papers that prove his treacherous dealings. Find them, if they exist, and deliver them to the Watcher there. When this is done, your reward will be left in an old crate where I was hiding. He points to the north. And if I find nothing, then do nothing more except feel pleased that a servant of the Pact is loyal. Where should I look for the papers? Mm, probably his quarters in the Dragon's Lair. That would be the most likely place. But I would hurry before Riyarza departs. I suppose I'll do what I can. He looks to the north. There's a crate over there. If you find the evidence and turn it in, a reward will be left for you there. It is a chance to aid the Pact and to enrich yourself. A true opportunity. We eagerly await news of any discoveries. He gives you a brief bow and turns away. Hmm. Riozo's quarters. I suppose we can take a look. Maybe we'll find something, maybe not. But everything that's happening with Riozo. I don't know. Something here is concerning. This watcher. I don't fully trust him. I'm doing this. But something about this it just doesn't seem right. I believe these are Riozo's quarters over here. Here, I believe. You search through the papers of this desk. They are the letters and notes of a Hulklandian commander named Riozo. Though these are private notes, being a hand of Avedon, you have every right to look through them. At first, you find nothing but supply ledgers and personal correspondence. Then you find a false bottom in one of the drawers. Underneath it, you discover several letters. They appear to be from the Tawan Empire, one of the northern farlands. Letters indicate that Riozo has, in return for generous payments, agreed to try on their behalf to convince Sethron to leave the pact and go north. Interesting. You keep the papers. He was right. He was right? Something still fi feels wrong about this. Watcher Hariza, I'd like to talk to you about Riozo. Ah, the Hoaglandian, yes? came to the dragon about for something. Angry, about to leave. Arrogant, but that's not unusual for an envoy. What about him? Well, I have evidence that he is a traitor. These papers were in his chambers. Watcher Harissa takes the papers and inspects them. She seems stunned. I never would have expected this. Letters to the Tawan Empire attempting to seduce the dragon away from us? This is... It seems strange, but these papers... I will have Riozo arrested immediately. He will be sent to Avedon or submitted to the code of the to the Justice of the Stone Code. Either way, he will threaten us no longer. Excuse me. She talks to a nearby guard and begins to whisper orders. And after I click that, I feel like there's the possibility that that could have been planted there. I don't know. Something about this Watcher. Something about the Watcher and everything going on with Riozo. It just doesn't feel right. I could be wrong. For all I know, I could be wrong and everything is going as it should be. But I, I don't know. Something just doesn't feel right here. This weathered crate looks like it's been here for 30 years, boards cracking in the hot sun. You look inside and find a few rusting picks and shovels. You dig deep deeper in the box and find a small leather pouch placed here recently. It contains the reward the Wayfarer promised. There are several gemstones and a gold ring. You pocket them. Four emeralds. We have an icy runestone. When did we get that? When on an item increases your strength, useful. Sapphire ring. When did we get that? Poison and acid resistance. I feel like that might be useful for someone, so I'll hold on to it. Those emeralds, though, those are valuable. Wow. Okay. The only other stuff around here, it looks like, is roads and such continuing paths. <sighs> you know what? We could start exploring here, but you know what? I'm going to make this episode a short one. I'm going to stop here. Next episode, we'll begin our exploration of the Jareth Deeps. <sighs> Till then, I'm Chester44. That is Jason, Sevelyn, and Nathalie. This has been an Avedon Let's Play, and I shall see you all next time.